Hi everyone. Let's talk about the benefits of a good night's sleep. For a couple years now, I've been monitoring my sleep with an aura ring. That's this little ring that you wear during the night. And then in the morning, you set it near your phone and it transfers via Bluetooth to your phone, the data about your sleep architecture, which really looks at how long you spend in deep sleep, how long you spend in REM sleep, how, many, how long you spend in light sleep, how many times you wake up at night, how much time you spend awake at night versus sleeping. And it also looks at your heart rate variability, which is an important indicator of your stress level. But anyway, since I've been tracking my sleep, it's, my sleep has actually really improved because it's so important to data drive things. What I find is that my sleep is really, really vulnerable to going amiss if I'm not having a healthy lifestyle. So the things that are critical for a good night's sleep for me are exercising every day. So I like to exercise at the end of my workday because I, I'm just so busy during the day and I build up some stress throughout in my body. And when I come home, I exercise and that just gets rid of it all. So I, I feel like it, you know, reduces the, the epinephrine in my system and adrenaline and improves endorphins, just brings up my serotonin and kind of, you know, sw switches the teeter-totter balance into a calm state in my brain. And then it's also really important that I eat at night. I have found that I, much, I do much better if I'm going to do any sort of intermittent fasting to not eat breakfast and then eat lunch and a decent dinner because when I eat dinner and have a good dinner that's balanced and has some fats and maybe even a little bit of carbohydrate, that allows me to stay asleep during the night without moving into hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. Because what happens for a lot of people is they fall asleep fine and then in the middle of the night, their blood sugar drops. And the first response the body has to that is to release adrenaline. The adrenaline goes to the liver, breaks down glycogen storage in the liver to raise the blood sugar up, but then you're awake. And oftentimes the blood sugar comes up just enough so you can fall back asleep, but quickly dips below the line again and you wake up again. So if you find you have the type of sleep where you have frequent wakings and it feels light and disruptive, think about your blood sugar and look at what you're eating for dinner and make sure you're eating the right dinner for you. Now for others, they eat too heavy of a dinner, they're not going to sleep well. So you don't want to eat right before you go to bed, but you want to eat, you know, with a certain amount of space between your dinner and the time you go to bed, but you want the right macronutrient levels, you know, protein, fats, carbs to, to facilitate healthy blood sugar throughout the night. Um, the other thing that's important is really paying attention to blue light exposure in the evenings. So I recommend that people don't get on their phones and don't get on their computers for a good hour to an hour and a half before they go to bed. They're, gonna, they're going to keep their, their neurotransmitters in better balance that way um, because your, your neurotransmitters and, and hormones in your brain actually are very tied into the, the light-dark cycles. And, and they, really mu they very much respond to the dwindling levels of light at night and, and that moves you into a sleep mode. So you don't want to interfere with that natural process by exposing yourself to too much light at night. And then, of course, meditation. So if you've got a lot on your mind and you've got a lot of stress from your day and it hasn't been alleviated by exercise, think about adopting a meditation practice that you do at night. Maybe do some deep breathing or maybe just spend a few minutes and kind of review your day and anything that was disruptive, just intend for it to, to ground down into the field, leave your brain and, and just really kind of put yourself in a peaceful state of mind before you go to bed. The other thing that I have found incredibly helpful and I'll admit sleep has been kind of a weak area in my health for, for many, many, ever since I went into menopause years and years ago. Um, but anyway, this is like my favorite product for sleep and it's super subtle 
and I'll admit I am a, a chief medical officer of a company and this is one of the sub entities, but it's because of my relationship to the company that I've had so much experience with it even before it was on the market. So this is a bioenergy patch and you put it on your body at night and it elaborates energetic signatures into your system that can induce sleep. And there's basically energetic signatures of natural ingredients known to help sleep. And I find this so much more helpful than taking things orally because in the morning you wake up, you take the patch off and they're gone. So some people describe feeling slightly hung over from even natural things for sleep like melatonin or 5-HTP or tryptophan or GABA. And with this product, you don't have that because you just take it off in the morning within a minute, it's gone. Don't forget to take it off though, because it's hard to wake up. So anyway, this is, this is really one of my favorites and I've actually worn it almost every night for four years. I love it. Not every night. Like I almost feel like, um, it has corrected my sleep, like made me a better sleeper. And now if I go away and I, ha I forget these or something, I can go a few nights without them and I still sleep quite well. Um, but, but I really feel like this was instrumental in helping me sleep. And actually I was involved in some of the studies around this. We were, we did a pilot study and we plan to do much larger studies where we, we bought a bunch of war rings for pe for participants and they wore them and, and then we were able to track their sleep kind of before and then after using these patches. So, so, um, the results were very, very good. Anyway, I hope all of you kind of start tracking your sleep a little bit more and look at the things that in your, about your lifestyle that are influencing your sleep and really work on them because having a good night's sleep really leads to having a great day the next day. And it's so much better for your health. We've learned so much about what it's doing. It reduces stress. The, the deep sleep is the time when our bodies actually heal and repair. And many of you have probably heard, if you don't sleep well, you put weight on. And that's because your body's in a state of stress from not having enough sleep. And the stress raises your blood sugar, which raises your cortisol, which then, sorry, raises your cortisol, raises your blood sugar, and that, that raises your insulin and, and puts fat in your fat cells. It makes it harder to take fat out of your fat cells. So that's a, that's a, there's tons of science around that. So multiple reasons why it's important to get into good night's sleep. And if you really pay attention, you can crack the code and accomplish that.